Low prices at the pump have drivers hitting the accelerator, but those savings aren't good for everyone here in Green Country. New tonight, 2 News looks at the ripple effect. The fall in oil prices really taking a toll on employees in the energy industry. Two more Tulsa firms announcing layoffs this week following cutbacks at Apache Group, Baker Hughes, and more than 2,000 jobs targeted at Helmrick and Payne. 2 News anchor Stephen Romo live in Brookside tonight. And Stephen, you're explaining how even if you're not in the energy industry, you may feel the effects. Yeah, that's right, Carol. Most of the people here at this quick trip in Brookside are cheering these lower gas prices right now. Oil businesses are, however, blaming them for the layoffs affecting many people in our area, and that impact is reaching further than the oil fields. One in five jobs in Oklahoma is connected to the oil industry. Even though oil companies have enjoyed years of record profits, the recent dip in crude oil prices is leading to local layoffs. We have noticed a, a drop in the last 30 days, and I think a lot of it is public sentiment because there have been some layoffs on the oil companies. As local dealerships like Danny Beck Chevrolet felt in the Great Recession, the car industry took a hit. It's rebounded well in recent years, and the drop in gas prices has increased the number of SUV sales recently in some regions. But for an area so dependent on the oil industry, the impact is not the same. We have new industries in Tulsa. But we're still an oil and gas state, and just about every business in Oklahoma is affected. It's not just businesses and individuals' pocketbooks. The state itself projecting a $300 million budget shortfall. And that could increase when the new projections are finished. So while you smile at the pump for now. Most people know that we're enjoying this for a short time, but they will eventually go back up. Remember, for an oil state like Oklahoma, the impact could be mixed in the long run. Now, Oklahoma is not alone. Similar situations in Texas, Louisiana, and Alaska. As for those people losing their jobs, some of the layoffs have been announced but haven't actually happened yet. Of course, that impact still developing. Reporting live in Brookside, Stephen Romo, 2 News Works for you. Thank you, Stephen. Now, here's a check of gas prices right now in our area. Gas Buddy reporting the average in Green Country is $1.91. That's more than 10 cents lower than the national average. The least expensive place to fill up in our area is a South Tulsa Sitco, where regular unleaded is $1.79. And 2 News working to keep you current on the economic climate right here in Green Country. Our digital team posting all of our stories about these recent layoffs and links to where you can find local gas prices on our website, kjrh.com slash money.